And welcome back, YouTube. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate that. And today, for something different, I'm going to show you how to best record your old PC games that you're running in DOSBox and uh, record gameplay footage. Now, if you're using Fraps or Bandicam, those programs have a, a lot of trouble capturing footage from DOSBox games or games that are running from DOSBox. And DOSBox itself also has the option to record gameplay footage, but I found the quality lacking and you cannot record your audio, so your commentary um, at the same time. Well, you can, but you need to do a lot of post-processing. You need to use another program for recording speech and then you have to combine the footage from the DOSBox game with the speech and so forth. So I found that a little uh, cumbersome. So I found this software. I'm using this. I, I like it a lot. It's Open Broadcaster Software. It's a free program. I'm currently running version 0657B. I think that's the latest version I, I have installed here. As well, I've opened up my DOSBox installation because before you record any of your uh, games, you need to go to your DOSBox installation directory and click on the DOSBox 0.74 options. So let's do that. As you can see, you'll get basically the setup for DOSBox right here, uh, especially here and you need to change the output to OpenGL. I've already changed it here so if you open up this file uh, and it says something else than OpenGL, change it to OpenGL if you want to record uh, your games under DOSBox, right? So when running DOSBox. So op uh, change it to OpenGL, that's it. Uh, so I don't need this anymore. I've changed it to OpenGL now let's go to Open Broadcaster Software. I'm running the monitor capture at this point because, well, I'm working with the monitor right now. So, uh, but if you want to record gameplay footage from DOSBox games, you need to have window capture, right? You need to have this installed. You can do that by clicking the right mouse button, add, and it says window capture. So add that to the list right here to the sources and um, so you have this option as well. Um, now go to settings and in the settings you I will run through the settings right here you will see a bunch of options in general the option in general options in general I, I just leave them as they are right here I have not changed anything encoding that's the most important thing I've changed it to these options. Uh, encoder is the 264X or X264. I think that's the best option for me, for my video card. It could be that your video card is different than mine, but uh, so you need to experiment a bit, but this works best for me. Uh, quality balance 10 and maximum bit rate 20,000. That's what I use. Codec AAC. Uh, I, I pretty much leave it at, at this. Now go to broadcast settings. This is important. Now you can put it on live stream or file output only. That's the one I use for recording gameplay footage. Now you need to change the file path and use the extension MP4. Usually in default something else is here. The extension is different. It, it's something like VLF or something or VFL uh, I'm not sure but change this to MP4 I already changed it as well as this right here change it to MP4 so it will, will record in that format okay now let's go to video um, this is my video adapter so this could be different from yours of course I'm using this base resolution the 1920 by 1080 and this is pretty much how I record this is the uh, frames per second 30 at this point let's go to audio I'm using my microphone with my headset I basically all these other options right here I'm 
using pretty much the default settings. So I'll, I'll just going to show you. So hotkeys, I don't think I use those. Advanced, multi-thread. Um, this is how I record. So I'll just go through all the options. This is my microphone, as you can see. Scene switcher, I don't even know what that is. But these are the options. I'll run them through again, like this. So I think it's best you do that too. Uh, let's click OK. But again, remember, if you're recording, use the window capture. Another thing is that you have to, when you're running the game, right click on window capture. I'm not sure if I can demonstrate this, but uh, let me see if I... No, I don't think so, but because I'm not... I'm, I'm recording my monitor, so I don't think I can run the game at this point, but if you're gonna run in window capture, right, you're gonna start the game and you need to... you're probably gonna see the game running in a very small window, somewhere in the top left corner. So what you need to do is click with the right mouse button on the window capture and go to position size. Then there's the option to fit to screen. That is what you need to click. So if you want to record window capture again go to fit to screen. Um, I'll probably gonna record some gameplay footage. I, I will demonstrate this. I'm probably gonna have to do this. I'm not sure how, but I'm going to try and do it with... I'm gonna start Heart of China. This is a PC game that's running under DOSBox, so... It's gonna start right now, but I, I don't think it will record in full screen. But I'm gonna try anyway. So, size position, fit the screen. So, let's go there. Um, let's go, I'll do Alt, Enter. Hopefully, this will show you the full screen option right now. It is full screen, I think. So, let's quit this. And... Is it going to switch back? Yeah, it will switch back now. So this is how I record my DOSBox games with Open Broadcaster software. So you're gonna, if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment and I'll sure help you out. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.